I was in town with another one of my clients, Dante Exum, and had to see if the rumors were true. Guess they are. New digs. Look who's moving up in this world. <laughs> I'm sure you already know Dante, the biggest player to come out of Australia since, uh, well, since ever. He can run the point, move over to the two guard, whatever anybody needs. He's about to take the league by storm. Yeah, we'll see about that. And this is the man I was telling you about, Dante. Destined to be the biggest undrafted success in the history of the league. Ballin', making money, going places. Maybe, but he's gonna have to go through me to get there. Ha! <laughs> Boy, you acting like that's a challenge. Take it however you want. You see what I mean on the court. <laughs> fellas, fellas, let's keep it cordial. We're all in the same money-making family here. Dante Exum really thinks he has game against me? You gotta be out of control right here. You gotta be serious, but we're facing Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers. One of my first few my career games, but I've been playing a lot lately. I've actually pulled two all-nighters, so I'm actually very ahead in my, the my career season. I gotta guard Kobe this game, though. I, I'm at a C-plus right now with zero stats all around. Look at what Carlos Boozer is trying to do. I leave Kobe Bryant wide open, and look at Boozer. Misses the dunk, it gets blocked up the court to Al Banks. You see me, a little pull-up jumper right there in his face. The close-ranged game. We're down by six points, and this Denver Nuggets team isn't that good. Oh, look at this, a void. Burn. But you can't leave me open. It looks like all the fadeaway threes are going in. But all the standstill threes don't go in for me for some reason. And I have like an 83 point and an 80 mid range because of the package for shooting. Look at this. No time left. I gotta pull the trigger. Very late release. Oh, and it's an air ball, of course. That's one thing I can't get in this game, and that's the releases. There are so many different shots you could pick. But with all these shots I've been trying, I can't get a perfect release on any of them. And look at Carlos Boozer just snagged those rebounds from J.J. Hickson. This team is a small team. I mean, Kenneth Farid and J.J. Hickson. Kenneth Farid is 6'8", and J.J. Hickson is like 6'9". But look at right here. I go for the easy layup. I need to improve my layup game too. Come on, Galinari. You got Boozer on you. That's a mismatch. Oh, good pass. And I missed the layup, but I get the rebound. And I miss again. Look at the nonsense. It sucks being a low overall in this game. It sucks being a 60-something. I mean, everyone in this game is like a, at least a 70 or something. There are very few 60 overalls in this game, and we're just stuck at 60, man. But I get that layup right there. We can still win this game. I mean, 13 points. We need a three-pointer. Look at this right here. I'm wide open. Slightly late. Oh, my goodness. Come on, 2K. Wide open right there. Yeah, this game is a done game right here. I'm going to have to start playing more games. Oh, look at this right here with the steal. It bounces off my head. Al Banks with his first dunk in the NBA. Check this out. This combobulation bounces off my head, goes to my hands, and an easy dunk right there. But like I said before, I'm very far ahead in the season. I'm not going to spoil anything, but be sure to check out the videos today and tomorrow and i'm also going to try the rec center because i feel like that's going to be a interesting mode to play but anyways guys we're going to lose this game and it seems like we're not going to make the playoffs because we're losing a lot of games but i'm out peace it's the man the myth my high school coaching legend no not as good as a coach since i lost you a few years back it's funny how coaches get better when they actually have good players on their team Man, forget that noise. You taught me everything I know. You, you, you're like a sponge. And look, it's, it's paid off for you. I am so happy for you. Thanks, coach. I hit the showers. I can smell you from here. All right, man. I gotta get fresh. <laughs> all right, sounds good. Mm, let's go all the way into the bag, Mr. Bishop. You know, when the team is struggling like you guys have been, how do you avoid negative thoughts getting in your head? You know, we all have to be professional, man. Live in the moment. A wise man once told me that doubt can only be removed by action. That means I got to get back to work. We all got to get back to work. 
Uh, in the back, Kyle, what's your question? You definitely came to play tonight, but your teammates did not. Are you disappointed in them? Yes, I'm disappointed that we lost, but this loss is on me and my teammates. We rise as a team and we fall as a team. I'm not pointing any fingers. You, sir? Well, it's no secret you're approaching free agency. Do you plan to give a hometown discount if they make an offer? You know, I'm not really concerned with that, all right? I just want to finish the season off nice and strong and let my agent deal with the numbers. You mean to tell me you're the only professional athlete who doesn't care about money? That's not what I said. I said I'd let my agent deal with the numbers. You may not believe this, but all of us just don't sit up at night dreaming about how much bank we can make. Some of us just want to play the game, run with good teammates, and compete for a title. I mean, it might blow your mind, but I'm just trying to hoop, bro. Does that answer your question? That's what I thought. Thank you. Yo, so what's up? It's not every day that you in the hood. Just wanted to drop a little knowledge your way. We're in an exclusive club. A lot of people think the NBA life is easy, but I know different. There's ups and downs, pressures most people got no clue about. Wanted to make sure you're dealing okay. Oh, yeah, man, I'm good. All right, because if I learned anything, it's that it's, it's a long season. You got 82 games. It's a lot of pitfalls. Gonna go to the club, gonna be girls, gonna wanna party, you gonna be trying to live the life that the vets are living, but you just gotta stay focused, man, and make sure you keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> you know, life's a funny thing. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I never even heard of you. A few weeks ago, I was certain you were a one and done guy. You know, have your cup of coffee in the bigs and then disappear never to be heard from again. And now? Now, well, now I'm going to tell you that I was wrong not to draft you, and I was silly to offer you only a 10-day contract, and you know, I was mistaken to think you were only here to have a cup of coffee. So, you're saying what I think you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm saying we're offering you a guaranteed contract for the rest of the season. It's about time, ain't it? Dang, you've been jerking my chain long enough. What? You heard me. Hey, I belong in this league, and I've known that for a long time. I'm happy that you and the coaching staff finally figured it out. Yeah, and I'm happy that you're so confident. Now, don't let this get to your head. I've been around this game a long time, and you know what? I've learned a few things. One is, good teammates last in this league. Head cases that have talent don't. Do you understand? Hey, man, I'm not a head case, all right? I'm just a man that's hungry and ready to show the world what I can do. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Finally. Well, I for one can't wait to see it. <laughs>